Navy's first Type 31, Inspiration Class, frigate, HMS Venturer will be launched, according to Navy officials. The Type 31 frigate program is a step in the British government's plan to increase the number of warships in the Royal Navy over the next 20 years. The Royal Navy has selected Babcock's Arrowhead 140 proposal as the design of choice for its Type 31 frigate. A fleet of five ships will be built at an average production cost of £250 million per ship. In May last year, the Navy revealed the name it had chosen for the Type 31 frigates. The five frigates will be named HMS Active, HMS Bulldog, HMS Campbelltown, HMS Formidable and HMS Venturer. In September last year, Babcock International officially started construction of its first ship, the HMS Venturer. The steel cutting ceremony took place at the Babcock facility in Recife, Scotland. Each Type 31 frigate will be equipped with a Sea Scepter air defense missile system, a 57mm main gun and two 40mm Bofors guns, and a 4D radar. Units will also have the capability to operate with Merlin or Wildcat helicopters. Additionally, they will be able to carry operational delivery systems or planned persistent pods, plug-and-play box of tricks carrying drones, autonomous mine hunting equipment, command centers for commando raiders or humanitarian aid. The Type 31 will replace the five general-purpose Type 23 frigates that have been in service with the Navy since the early 1990s. The new frigate is slated to enter service in 2027. These frigates will form the cornerstone of a formidable future force consisting of destroyers, new autonomous mine hunting capabilities, new fleet solid support ships, multi-role sea surveillance and support ships of the Bay class, next generation nuclear submarines, and two magnificent aircraft carriers, said Vice Admiral 2nd Marine Nick Hyde. Come this year when HMS Venturer unties the knot and enters the water, I have no doubt it will emulate the tremendous success of its predecessor and write its own glorious chapter in our nation's illustrious maritime history.